This your boy Evo and the JTC is on the move over here, Big Spring, Texas. Way west, way west, way west. Out here to see my daughter, uh, Paula's game this afternoon. Uh, but I just wanted to comment real quick. My brother Andrew Nunley put a post out. Uh, and the post was um, this guy has sent word out to his family. They didn't know it was from him saying that he had died, that he had died. This guy sends word out to his family that he had died. So the family naturally packs or whatever the case is. I don't know if they flew or drove over to wherever he was living at because they were coming for the funeral and stuff. When they got to the house, uh, I believe where this guy lived, um, the table was set uh, for dinner. And as I guess they were all in there and kind of sad, whatever the case is, he popped out and he said, this is what I had to do in order to bring family together. And you know, when I, when, when I heard about this, I just, it just, it just startled me because I said, you know, how many times, I said, people move, this is just my opinion, but people move a lot of times more for death than they do life. And my point is, you know, if you figure out right today, God forbid, somebody's family member dies, most times family will pack up, they will fly, they will take days off of work, sick days, bereavement days, whatever they can get, get an airplane ticket, a, a rent a car, hotel and all of that to fly over to what we call pay respects. And I'm saying the person that you're going to see is not there. It's not there. And when it's for life, we say, I can't make it now. I, I got to work. Uh, I don't have the days off. Uh, I don't have the money. And the same person, if they die, we will drop everything. And I remember telling my wife, I said, but the person's not there. So who are you coming to see? <clears throat> so my word is just to encourage somebody out here just to think, think about people that if they died, uh, you would drop everything and, and, and go to their funeral. And then the question is to that, uh, have you made plans to go see them while they're living? You know, does it take death or sickness for us to make plans to go see somebody? So that's my word for you today. Leave your comments on it. Maybe I'm the only one that's kind of confused on this. If you won't go see them when they're living, why are you going to the funeral when they're already gone? So this is your boy E. Wilson right there with a thought for you right here. Big Spring Texas reminding you if you're going to have a conversation, make it a good one. I'm out.